Hey guys, so I'm starting with a pound and a half of chicken breast that I've cut into bite-sized pieces, seasoned it up with salt, pepper, ginger, garlic, and onion powder, and just give it a toss. Then I've heated one tablespoon of coconut oil over medium high, throw the chicken in and cook it until it's browned and cooked through. Then for the sauce, we're gonna combine quarter cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of swerve brown, third cup water, half teaspoon of xanthan gum, and then just whisk that up and set it aside. Now that the chicken's done, I'm going to use a slotted spoon to remove it and just set it on a plate over to the side. And I'm gonna keep the heat on and throw in two mini bell peppers and the whites of two to three scallions and a couple cloves of garlic. Now I'm only gonna cook this a minute or two and then I will scoop it out and add it over to that plate with the chicken. Then I turn the heat down and I'm going to add in the sauce and just give it a minute to heat up and start to thicken. Now you wanna add your dried Thai chilies. Now I did cut a few of these in half and dump the seeds out because they're very hot. I love to cook the chicken with this because it gives it amazing flavor, but I don't eat all of those chilies because they're extremely hot. Then you just add the chicken back in, give it a toss and add in your roasted peanuts. We like to add about a half a cup. For my cauliflower rice, I keep it super simple. I just heat up a bag of frozen cauliflower in the microwave and toss it with some butter and pink salt and that is it. Then when I plate it up, I use the green parts of the scallions as a garnish and that is keto kung pao chicken.